It is one of my great honors and privileges to serve on the board of Hatzalah, which is the essence of Pikuach Nefesh, the saving of human lives. They put the saving of human lives before anything uh, else. Uh, I don't usually like to be on boards, but uh, this is one that does so much good. And the volunteers are really lifesavers. Uh, you know, it's an organization that grows out of the heart and soul of people who just want to do good. There's no, you know, no reward here on this earth, uh, no recognition. You're not called heroes. Uh, you rarely get your pictures in the paper, but uh, you know you've saved lives, and there's nothing more important uh, in the world than doing that. And you do it uh, by putting yourselves at risk. I saw just uh, this morning a uh, motorcycle with my name on it rushing into traffic. Uh, I was so worried that my motorcycle would be hit by a bus <laughs> that was coming the other way. Uh, but this guy knew he had his job to do, and his job was to get there first and to save a life. And, uh, you know, I'm a lawyer, and as a lawyer, I think all the time of saving people from prison, but to save a human life, there's, there's probably no feeling that is greater in the world than to be able to do that. No reward more important than the knowledge that you've made the difference between life and death. And I just came from a big family gathering and I was shown pictures of my enormous extended family and it made me think, that all comes from one person. If one person hadn't been saved uh, back whatever, that many people would not have been brought into the world. Whenever I think of the Shoah, I think of every picture of every one person going into the gas chambers represents an enormous family that didn't live. And I think we have to think of it every day when it comes to rescuing human lives. You're not only rescuing human life, you're permitting an entire new family to come into being, an entire new new unit of, of, of life. And so keep rescuing people, keep saving lives, and uh, we'll keep supporting you in any way we can. These cameras, all the going to the floor. Right. He saw me on the computer, right. and Jean can uh, tell me by GPS. This is the automatic external defibrillator. You can see it's not heavy, right. and you could put it everywhere. Yeah, this goes. To, this is going to a volunteer, Yaakov Coin, and then Beit Shan. Right. You know Beit Shan. Right. right. The so do you have a program of adopted defibrillator where you can, you know, get people to contribute to the defibrillator? Sure. sure. How much to the defibrillator? Twenty-five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Can we get people to donate them? I will donate one. Thank you very much. Good. Wow. Thank you. Wow.